fuck him up, Lil B fuck him up What's up, man? Welcome back to the Bowling Green Dynasty Review. Hey, yeah. And in today's episode, we got Purdue on the schedule. One in five Purdue, I must say. But we are trying to keep it rolling. Bowling Green dismisses their record as they focus on Purdue. Yes, sir. We got to focus on these boiler makers. We are trying to boil the makers of Purdue. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> but uh, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that notification bell, that way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video like this one. Oh yeah! Yes sir, also make sure you hop in that comment section. I want to see y'all, I want to see them names pop up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah man, I want to talk to y'all, y'all don't want to talk to me? <laughs> Is it so wrong with me? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch! Oh man, but I'm about ready to get into this game. Feeling good today. We made some changes as far as the wide receivers. We got two different guys starting. Well, one different guy. Because I think D Hill started last game. But we inserted Mike Potts. So we're going to try that out today. But I ain't going to hold this up much longer. Let's hop into this game. All right, we got the team stats here. Gonna take a look at Purdue as their offense. It's not that great. Their defense, mm, it's not that great either besides their pass defense. On the Bowling Green side, you know, our offense is pretty good. They score a lot of points and it's, yeah. <laughs> On the defensive side, uh, we don't give up necessarily a whole lot of points, and we don't give up a lot of total yards. Passing yards could be a little bit better, but the rushing side is very, very good. Top players for Purdue, we got a right guard, a right end, and a right tackle. So the offensive line and the defensive line. Our top players, of course, Brett Austin, David Lucas, Marcus Dodds. No surprises there. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA dun, dun. football 14 pregame show dun, 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 by dun, dun, dun. innovation it's time exciting. for the big Falcons have team not only put together action nice they're starting to play at a much higher and we're level going up against the bottom of the big campus. 10 east right now, now is, but that doesn't mean be anything because any team is dangerous at any time and, telling them how they expect and yes a big win in i just made that rhyme that's gonna do it for us i do it all the time if you've been here for a while you would know i ain't lying coming right at you Brad but i'm fine ball, how are you are back to <laughs> time. yeah yeah Ooh, they coming out with a little train huh but that don't mean a thing because they going out with a bang my defense i hope they light them up we trying to bore these boys just like some, I don't know. <laughs> ah, bro, what are you talking about, man? We're about 65 miles northwest of Indianapolis in West Lafayette. Okay, Indiana, we got some orange out here and in the corner and over there, and, and sprinkled Jerry, around. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. All right, defense. And no, 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 Do we have to start every single defensive possession giving up a big play? I can guarantee you'll be Is that a Bowling Green tradition? I don't think it is because we do the same thing with the Lobos. <laughs> it might just be a me tradition. Get set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. 
Tries to get around the corner at the 30. Okay. And they push okay, him Matt. at about the 43 yard line. Matt is Bowling back. Green's offense really centered Marcus Dodds looked real good last game. Okay, yeah, Marcus Turner. Pass. Tackle made at around the 43. Don't really get anything. Oh, for the tight end, but they can't too far tried to hit his receiver inside. And he's tackled. There's Matt Aarons and this fourth and two series by the defense. I've got to tell you, I'm really it wouldn't be me if I didn't go for it. going to just pump this ball away. Wouldn't be me if I ain't go for it. And it's a face mask. Tack on 15. Personal foul. Let go. Face mask. Defense. Might get some here, though. He's tackled around the 21 yard line. Okay, we get eight. Okay, D Hill. Okay, D Hill. And we probably got to hold him. Or clipping. There's the holding. Oh, my God. Got him. Let's take Sean Johnson. the 17 yard line. Okay. He's got his half back. Nice Pass block. Goal as he's knocked out after a nice okay. Game. Finish him. Oh, and around the six yard line. Oh and boy. Direction play gets maybe a yard at the most. Okay, just hold that block and we'll walk in. Okay. And the game is tied again. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have it took the one play. It took us a whole drive. And we got Michigan losing to Indiana. Surely, if they lose to Indiana, that will drop them out of the top 25. And that's a catch. Yep. The ball carrier. At the 49. This is one of their special okay, we have to get this run game under control. They already got 94 yards on the ground. In unconventional ways. Mm -mm. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass run. Oh my. He's at the 30. Come on, man. That should have been a tackle for loss, but no, they get 26. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Bring him down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's what I'm talking the about, DB. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. DB met him in the phone booth. Two yard loss for the What you thought these was? Huh? It's J Dub. Let's it go. Ain't no way. This unit has That's what I'm talking about, JB Brown. Would have been really nice if we could have picked that off, but Purdue could take the I'll take the deflection. Yeah. It's up. Good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind okay. him, and he kicked an accurate ball. Red, 68, red, 68. Nice run up Is the that middle. a face mask again? Personal, Personal foul. foul. Face, face mask. Idiots. Defense. Defense. Let go. Ah, that's a tight spot. Okay. Pick up five. And the quarterback keeper. Slings it. Sam He's Smith. Down around the 38 yard Old line. double nice Pick up there. Got him. Zips it to the back. He's taken down right around the 32 yard line. Take them line. check downs. They'll go with the run once again. Okay, and Marcus Turner. At the 25. Okay. Scrambling around. Got him there. Throws it to the halfback on the oh, ain't gonna get anything. Okay. 
Nein. Ah. And that will be the end of the first quarter. And we are down three. But that is no surprise because three quarters remaining. Most of our games we are losing at the end of the first quarter. Alright, so we are in field goal range. We do have a what looks like a blitz. What's going on? Got him. Had to take the hit, but I found him. That sounds Smith. I'm trying to stay in the pocket, y'all. I'm trying. Been watching film. And I noticed that a lot of times I scramble out of the pocket too fast. And it looks like we got a maybe a blitz here. I don't want to run that necessarily. Here, Marcus Turner. Okay. Tackled around the one yard line. Really, really close there, Mr. Marcus. Get up in there. Let's go. Just gotta trust the process. Very good all around effort. The running, the blocking. And Michigan is getting their butt kicked right now. 14-3 against Indiana. Oh, boy. Doesn't look good for Michigan. Notre Dame is leading Illinois early in the game. 7-0. All right, let's go, Dom. Come on, Michael Jackson, fight off. And we got to him. But that's way too much time. And that would be a big hole. I'm not blitzing, though. And that's probably why. Everybody got picked up. And we got a host of Falcons over there on the tackle. Definitely going to be a run. And every He's at midfield. He's at the 40. I'm and trying to stay ahead of him. him. I know that guy was going to try to block me. That's why I did that. To give up a long run like that. You'll see a lot of those guys. So you probably wonder what I was doing. <laughs> I knew he was trying to block me. I'm like, uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> but our run defense is supposed to be our strength. Even though we're not stopping the run right now. We got a nice tackle by Eric Rams. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 16 yard <sighs> He was wide open. Delivers to the halfback. Bring him down. And down he goes at the 14. He's out of bounds, even though he's wide open. Bring him down. There we go. Bend, but don't break. Let's not get faked by the field goal. Looks like someone got and that's a false start. False start. Offense. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Okay. Forcing them to field goals. Tries to buy some time. Okay, we'll just take that. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. He Got him. It. That's D Hill. By the That's D Hill. He gets caught from behind, but he got the release, though. And we will take that. That's one thing about D Hill. He has a great release. The 10. Gains his way okay. to the I don't like that guy on the outside right there. It's not even a factor. Get up in there, Marcus Dodge. He fumbles and Marcus Turner picks it up. Was he not already in the end zone, though? 
outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. I could have swore you was already. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Strike complete. He's down. All right. And nobody's blocking. Come here. And that's K.A. Kelvin. Alexander. Let it go. And that would be going nowhere. And we work it out the field on fourth down, on third down. <laughs> and they gonna run the clock down some. Not really too concerned about that. Yeah. Allen fields it at the Bro, 45. What? He's tackled at the 38. <laughs> the Falcons right now are getting the play out of their quarterback. That okay. They expected, maybe even better and than they expected. And now, as we Marcus get Dodds has down, a turnover. No, he does not. And be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. You know, through that Marcus Turner. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Got him. There's and it's Mike Potts. And they push him out around the 30 Getting his first line. catch of the season. Another great receiver with a great release. It out there. And there it he is. Mike Potts. MP. With the TD. Finally. Got that boy some PT. And now he's scoring TDs. The wide receiver made this play. Big A8. Get it straight, straight. That outside. Bitch. Oh my God, Brett Austin. Like that boy caught the Holy Ghost. He scrambled. And he's taken down. All right, keep on. 33 yard line. And he got it. Dang. I always love to watch the mind game from the first down. Fires out to his wide out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Almost a pick. He heaves it deep. He's taken and how did he get wide open? Heck of a play by the receiver. What was the DB doing? The time about <laughs> Kicks up. Sails through the uprights. He lets it fly. Ah. Almost picked off. I think D Hill was open on the right side. We played a half of football. I think he the was. Lead, I think I seen that at the corner of my right eye. If he was. I'm Hi, everybody. sorry, D. Hill. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. But anyway, we are Davis, up. David Pollock here in the studio as always. To lend a little going into the halftime. To went down in the first 30 I'm going minutes. into halftime. offenses were off the chains in the first half. Defenses Offense is looking good. Completely powerless. David, you know I'm your biggest fan. I believe you're going to be a Hall of Famer getting the ball someday. down the field today. Great defender. But every game wasn't perfect. Mike Potts. Now, I remember a freshman game that you had at Georgia. Giving us some energy. Florida. Gators kind of got it rolling. What's that like for a defense out there when, when you feel like they're a step or two or three ahead of you all the time? Well, it's frustrating. Need to get and those rushing times, yards up, though. I mean, they had 169 and yards things, rushing in the first stuff, half. Tried all during the week and we only give up like 120 else, some, 130 Sometimes per game. The better players on offense and their schemes firing at a new level or a different level than you are, and you you can't keep up. But you got to find some kind of positive. But we winning. Some kind of big play. So, you get so that we got to be happy with that. Maybe throwing his visor. No turnovers. Getting upset. Like, okay. I'm making it a point not to I, I, turn I, the I, ball I, over. Man. I got ball plays going to work. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Told that man to put his shoes back on. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Oh, 
Okay. The 37 yard line. Get 12 on that one. Oh. oh. The stop at the 37. Okay. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. Had to wait on it a little bit. He gets out to get the full back some action. He airs it out. Got him. Boy, it's looking. It's looking like Big Ben and Tom Hanford all over again around here. Well, this is one of those plays. You just sit back Mike and Potts the quarterback threw the ball trying to earn him a starting spot. And Michigan is getting Let's beat down right now. 28 to 10. Action unfolding in Ann Arbor. Indiana, a one win team. The Wolverines keep pounding away on the ground and they find pay dirt. And watch them try to play us close. Gets to around the 42. Maybe after the Back to the run, I see. You're going to get tripped up back there. Bring him down behind the line. I'd look for and that's J.B. Brown. Some more bring it around town. We'll give him that. That's a screen. Uh-uh. Uh that's J.B. Brown again. Picks up about four yards with a catch. Yeah. Allen takes it at the 12. Room around the corner. Mm. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 40. Still got 28. All week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really bad. That's Mike Potts again. He's at the 40. That's Mike Potts again. At the 35. Potts was the intended receiver on the way. And that counted as a rush. Okay. It still counts, though. That's Tayshawn Johnson. Gains his way to the He's going to get himself a rush. Ah! Oh, it almost picked off. That could have been a I just knew that was getting intercepted. Even though he had a good shot. Okay, he's going to stand still. Stand still then. And I didn't get the playoff. <laughs> Delay of game. Offense. Okay. At the 15. Big play. There's Matt Aaron. Now they're looking at first and goal. Got it to his yes, it will. Touchdown. And Mike Potts will walk it in for another TD. And that'll give Marcus Dodds three TDs on the day. He scores again to make it three in the passing game. Yeah, and Mike Potts has so all three of the receiving TDs. I didn't know that. And Michigan is still getting beat down. The action's always tough and 31 hard 17. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Doesn't look we'll like they're going to come back from this one. Perfect connection and a touchdown. Indiana's on top 31 17. <laughs> Right around the 34. Right out. Mm. He's got his man. That play is good for eight yards. Meet Brett Austin. Down. Great look. No. Nope. Yeah, they get him. They bring him down for a sack on the play. Who they get a sack to? David Booth. <laughs> Short pass, middle of the field. Bring him down, Brett Austin. Get him! Sitting in until the last second. Allen fields at the 29. Got the corner. Brought down at the 45. He's tackled around the 44 yard line. Not much going on it, run. Going long. Going for him. And that's almost picked off. Pick and he dropped it. Getting a little dangerous here. 
And ah, he turned around. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 21. I'm glad he turned around. He turned around just when I threw it. That's what you call anticipation. Here's a screen to the wide. And he broke another tackle. And Mike Pye scores again. And I think he just tied the school record with four reception TDs. This is his first game of the year, folks. <laughs> and Michigan is still getting Auburn. beat down. 38 to 24 now. Their aerial assault and score a Only two possessions. The Hoosiers have the lead. But it's getting late in the fourth. Midway through the fourth quarter. And easy because they've got nothing to lose. Uh-uh. Gets it out. He's met immediately. You can't fool Diego. This defense is fast enough that they can create. AKA me, because I was the user. Passes. So the offense might want I am the user. Next time they try that play. Gotcha, bitch. Get him. And Diego with the hard hit. And we reach the end. And that will be the end of the third quarter. With a huge lead. And we up 49 to 16. He lets it fly. Well, and that's out of bounds. Early in the fourth quarter, they needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. Receiver a chance to make a play. The yeah. problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Uh oh. He's at midfield. Uh oh. Ah! And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really Mike Potts. And it's allowing him as a showing off to settle in and find his rhythm. But I also said, coach, I'm being ready. His success today has been the offense. What have you been doing? Time Put me in the game. Again, they've done a good job of giving him the amount of time he needs back in the pocket to be able to read the defense and then make a throw down with a big advantage. Fires it out nah. around the 23 yard line. Rose. And there's another one. Quickly, I'm done. I'm done. Take Marcus Dodds out. That's his fifth touchdown take him throw. out. Simply an hey, offensive coordinator, take him out. Get him out of there. Uh, bring him down. Here's man. They take him down immediately. I Good like tackle. that they're completing these underneath routes. On an empty backfield. Ah. Uh. There you go, Kelvin Alexander. Ran him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. David Booth. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Down. Down right around the 46 yard line. They are going for it on fourth down. Not surprised. But he ain't gonna get it. JB Brown. Bring it around town. Turnover on downs. It's gonna be hard to bring that boy down. Nice run, and he's brought Marcus down. Turner. He fires right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta warm his arm up first. Oh my god, it hit off his helmet. Falls incomplete. But they ain't. But anyway. And he'll hit Matt Aarons. Before he steps out of bounds. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. All right. Still run the play. Still run it. Oh. Now the ball is loose. No. He has some room. Hogan Lamar Allen. Hogan down. He goes down. <laughs> The 12 yard line. I tell you, when the works, it can be beautiful. To oh watch. boy. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. Had to have at least one turnover. Even though it wasn't an interception. Uh, the pitch, look out, look out. 
And we're going to get it right back. Tim Brady recovers the fumble. I don't know who forced it. Let me see. You can't teach hustle like that. They didn't show it. Receivers got it on the screen. Okay, there we go. He's out to the 30. There we go. And he shoved out of bounds at the 39. He's taken down. Okay, Marcus Turner. Yard line. Oh, broke that one. And he might be He's gone. He is He's gone. The 30 to the oh my god. That 10. boy gone. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Get used to seeing that, folks. Because next year, oh boy, that was simply sensational. Oh boy, and it shows you what kinds of major and it won't be fumbles like I have a good ground just game. did on the previous position. <laughs> and down goes Michigan, the and they fall the to four and four. By Please take them out of the top twenty-five. To try to avoid injuries. Less than three minutes in the game. Ah. And they bring him Michael Jackson. Cue the music. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Scrambling around. Besides, he's got space. And down he goes. Ah. They'll bring him down. Come on, Diego. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Okay. Makes the grab and he's got the first. He's tackled at about the 40. Come on, slow down the pass offense. Do not let him run his yardage up at the end of the game. JB Brown. Right around the 44 yard line. Laying Lumber down. Hard hits whenever you come around. Stop at the 36. Was that Tim Brady? Them boys hitting hard at the end of the game. A bit That's a false start. Down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Mm -hmm. well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time. So I'm gonna go for it. That's a screen. Hit as he threw. And Did he I not get blocked it. in the back? Tackle at about the 25 yard line. And that will be the end of the game, folks. I'm sorry you had to sit through a complete murder. The Falcons know that they have to enjoy <laughs> this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to I don't be know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube or not, but I just future. did. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy But anyway, we are a family really friendly channel. <laughs> The Marcus Dodd showed out, and he's making his case for the Heisman here late in the season. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone. That ought to make him lose you your good. And my boy Eric Rams got disregarded. But that's all right, my boy. We know you're just a freshman. Got to hit that weight room some more. Mike Potts, the red shirt sophomore. Has been sitting all season because I figured he really wasn't ready yet. But it looks like he is ready. <laughs> so, more than likely, Mike Potts will be starting next game along with D. Hill. Sorry, uh, Tayshawn Johnson and uh, Steven Taylor. Y'all really have been getting it done the last few games. All right, we got the player stats here, and we did see that uh, Marcus Dodds was the player of the game. Went 21 on 26 for 345 TDs, no interceptions, completed 80% of his passes, and he was not sacked at all. On the rushing side, my bro, Jay Jackson, came in and got that big 52-yard <laughs> TD, and he was the leading rusher for the game. So y'all just be on the lookout for that next season, because there's going to be a whole lot of that. Marcus Turner came in with 63 yards on 11 attempts. He also also got two TDs on the ground and Marcus Dodds had 49 yards on nine attempts on the ground on the receiving side we got Mike Potts 
with five receptions for 130 and four TDs. That boy was on fire. Red shirt sophomore, straight out of Kentucky, 6'4", 200 pounds. And that boy knows how to get down. D. Hill chipped in with 97 yards on four receptions and a TD. Sam Smith also had 59 yards on three receptions. And the custom recruit Matt Aarons had him three receptions for 28 yards. Let's see, on the defensive side, we got Brett Austin leading all tacklers with eight solo tackles, one assisted, and a TFL. Diego had six solo tackles, one assisted, and two tackles for a loss. And JB Brown also had six solo tackles and two tackles for a loss. My boy DB led the team with three sacks. So shout out to DB. Kevin Alexander and JB Brown had a deflection. Nobody got credited for the forced fumble, but Tim Brady got the fumble recovery. So shout out to Tim Brady. All right, we got the games around the country. We got San Diego State taking down Air Force. We got Toledo over Eastern Michigan. We got number 12 Duke taking down Georgia Tech. 51 to 7. Nice little blowout. We got Louisiana Tech taking down UTEP. We got number 9 Iowa taking down NU. 34 to 31. And we got ULM taking down the Raging Cajuns. 30 to 27. All right, we got the game stats here. We did lose the first quarter, but we won the second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth quarter. We shut them out 35 to zero in the second half, and we get away with a 63 to 16 blowout beatdown of the Boilermakers. We won the first down battle, the rushing yard battle, the passing yard battle. We did have one turnover, but it was a fumble. It was not an interception, and we did win the time of possession. Offensive player of the game, of course, that was Marcus Dodds, and the defensive player of the game was David booth and my dc is now up to a level 21 so shout out to you my boy and we got the text right here it says feeding the monster falcons continue to win as they clobber purdue 63 to 16 yeah we clobbered them we hit them with a clubbing blow after clubbing blow shout out to chisel adonis I like his commentary on the NFL. Well, anything to be exact. But we get us a nice win. More than likely, we still gonna be number one. Really, not much to say about that. You know, we got we got some production out of the receivers this game. Mike Potts being the main one, and D Hill. He also almost had a hundred yards. But yeah, man, good production. Defense finally settled in and shut them down in the second half, which we do a lot. But let's move on to the next week. All right, we got the team news here. We got uh, the 80 overall wide receiver, James Cabral. I guess that's how you say that. A Cabral. A Cabril. A Cabral. I guess that's how you say it. Cabral. Getting Cab and Raw. Cabral. <laughs> but anyway. He's ready to visit. Terrence Brooks is ready to visit. The 80 overall, strong safety. We are in a recruiting battle with Orlando Pace. Caden locked us out, of course. Ivan Rivera, we are in a recruiting battle with four other schools. I don't even remember being in the ballpark to get Ivan Rivera. We're gonna have to look at that. Dearnay Patterson, of course, we are in a battle with two other schools with him. We're in a recruiting battle with the center and this defensive tackle. Let's see what we got going on in the coach news. Eight consecutive wins, 50 TDs on the season, being ranked number one, school record rush, school record for receiving TDs in a game. I think he tied that. I want to say somebody else got four receptions. In the game also. But anyway, we have a conference play of the week. That's probably going to be Marcus Dodds. All right, we can do the recruiting rundown now. We already know that Caden has locked us out. We are on top for Orlando Pace. Pause. Do have a visit coming up. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can stay in the race. Dearnay Patterson, we are on top of his board. We did have our visit. Michigan State hasn't had their visit yet. And Arkansas had their visit. So I feel like the only team we are really, really competing with right now is Michigan State. And that's just my opinion. We are still on 
Ivan Rivera's list for some reason, even though we're down 8,000 points. <laughs> uh, we're moving up on this guy's board. We are in the lead for the center, and we do have a visit coming up. In the lead there. We are in the lead there. We're in the lead here. Also have a lead. This guy's getting ready to commit any week now. In the lead on him. In the lead there as well. We are in the lead there. So we, our linebacking core is going to get a big boost if we get all these guys. And we also have a cornerback here. And we got us another strong safety we are in the lead on right now. And lead on this guy. Really not too concerned about him. Really not too concerned about this guy. Matter of fact, we're going to remove him. And we'll take a look at the current recruits we have committed to the team. Got the wide receiver, David Bell. True freshman, 80 overall. We got Tim Fox, the strong safety. We got Jay Bridges, the wide receiver. We got Marquise Townsend, the 78 overall guard. We got a 78 overall defensive end and Kyle Bergstrand. We got a 77 overall true freshman running back in Travis Williams. He is a speed back. Gotta like that. Matter of fact, what is his speed? 91 and 91, so yeah. And we got a 75 overall middle linebacker in Bobby Sullivan. Not a he's not a tall guy, but he's alright. He's alright. And we got a defensive tackle in James Moody. And we got a defensive end in Lee Watkins. So our class is looking pretty good. We got what? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys already. All right. And your Falcons are still number one after their beatdown of Purdue. We do have Ohio State next week, and they're still number 22, still in the top 25. We got Georgia sending number two. They have to go up against Florida. So Florida lost. Yeah, I guess they did. We got Clemson, USC, Alabama, Auburn. I was up to seven. We got Nebraska, Utah, and Duke. Another round at the top 10. We can scroll on down. And yes, Florida did lose. They lost to FIU. Oh boy. Could have made the playoff, but you had to go lose to FIU. <laughs> Arizona State lost to number three USC. Um and there's FIU. They jump up on the board after beating Florida. They wasn't even ranked before then, which is actually James Madison. Yeah, I forgot they did that. They changed that. But anyway, y'all know what it is. We got Rutgers, new team, NC State's a new team, Ohio State, they beat Michigan State, and they're clinging to a spot in the college football playoff ranking. We got Oklahoma, and we got Miami, also a new team. So we got some three loss teams down here, and a four loss team. But Michigan has completely disappeared, which is good. They shouldn't be on here. Neither should Ohio State, but it is what it is conference standings we are still on top of the east i don't see anybody really taking that from us at this point and it looks like iowa might get the west but i don't know minnesota's right there and so here's notre dame can't count out any of those three teams and marcus dies is still on top of the heisman watch after their good performance against purdue 340 yards and Another 49 on the ground to keep you in there. And we got the QB from Mississippi State, Mr. Robertson, coming in at second. He threw for 413, but you got to know that's an uh, air raid system, so they're going to get a lot of yards passing. Going to throw it a lot. He threw it 46 times. Marcus Dyes only threw it 26. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure Marcus Dyes would have. 413 yards if he got to pass the ball 46 times. Uh, we got J We got Jacob Conover from BYU. 
He's also trending upward. He threw for 339. We got Jeremy Ford from Georgia. And then we got Demetrius Davis from Auburn. All right, so Marcus Dodds did win the Big Ten Player of the Week. The Offensive Player of the Week, I should say. Had six total TDs. All right, if you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how to go on this show. It's the outro. Bitch! Yes, sir. We got Ohio State coming up on the schedule. We already know we got this good win against Purdue. And after Ohio State, we got Notre Dame, Michigan, and Michigan State. And then we have two bye weeks. So we have plenty of time to get rested if we make it to the Big Ten Championship game. Hopefully we do. And hopefully we win out. Because according to the records, neither one of these teams is too hot. But cannot go by it. You already know we cannot go by the records. Got to do what we do against Ohio State. We get to play against a custom recruit and Caleb Moore, a.k.a. Dare. We'll get to see up close and personal what that freshman QB is doing down there or up there or whatever, <laughs> however you want to say it. But I believe we can hop into this shout out list. Shout out to Product Visuals. Shout out to Optimal Prime 870, The Rapper 10,000, War Master 777, Thomas Bays, Arsenio Patillo, Eric Grahams, Dare, Matt Aarons, DRNA Patterson, Andrew Minton, Roscoe underscore 34, Clips. Tony Hawkins, Jordan Barker, Tim Alvarez, Afro Magic, Smoking A609, and Caleb Harper. Shout out to you guys. And like I say in every episode, if you want to get on the shout out list, make sure you hop in the comment section, not just on one video, but multiple videos. Not just one comment, but multiple comments. And we'll see about getting you here on this list right here. You know what I'm saying? And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. I'm trying to drop them as fast as I can without driving myself crazy. <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all, every last single one of y'all. All of y'all in there, even if you ain't coming. You know what I'm saying? And you hitting the like button, I appreciate you as well. I just don't have a, a name or a face to put to that, you know, but thank you. <laughs> but I don't think there's much else to say about this here episode here. Here episode here. <laughs> I'm your HC. Let me get out of here because I'm starting to talk crazy now. <laughs> I'm your HC. This is BG. This is season five. Trying to keep the three peat and the streak alive. Oh yeah. I'm out.